Ernest Hemingway once wrote, the world is a fine place and worth fighting for. I agree with the second part. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Welcome, Jimmy. Yeah. Welcome, Thank you. Jimmy. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Mostly Peaceful, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate being here. I, I don't. I don't know what to say about our world anymore at this point. Uh, we we for 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 what it's worth the for we we've seen history made uh, this past week, and it's um, it's frightening. Yeah, I mean it's utterly scary. Like. I don't think I've ever been more concerned about the state of our country and its morals and values and the way we were brought up. Yeah. I've never been more concerned about it than I am today, than I am, than I have been the last week. Uh, Donald Trump was convicted on 34 counts of falsifying documents but they can't prove the felony they say he committed. They can't tell us what it is because they don't know what it is. Yeah. It's wildly it, insane. Because it doesn't exist more than likely. Oh, well, that, that, that. I mean, that's where we are, right? That's, that's what I think. My mind always just goes to their full of shit and making shit up at this point. I'm going to have a drink because this is going to get if you could say Joe Biden is a great president, the economy is is better than it's ever been, you are definitely making shit up at that point. <laughs> Still, like you know what I mean? Say that one more time. If you say that Joe Biden is a great president, the economy is better than it's ever been, you are definitely making shit up. Agreed. And I hope you're thirsty. <laughs> that fucked up. You who did this shit to me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm 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 concerned. Uh like and I lost uh, I I got distracted because the world's gonna fucking it. No, it's not. Look, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's be honest about something. Oh, it's falling apart. Like, it's falling crazy, apart. Crazy though. It's man. falling apart. It, it's 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 scary right now, but let's all be real. Uh I think I think we're on an upswing right now. I think we're gonna we're getting ready to take all this back. Like, yeah. We really are. I do believe so. So tell me more, though, man. What what's going on with the the whole uh, Donald Trump being convicted thing? Because I have not heard. I haven't heard anything. I actually heard somebody talking about it, and I was like, hmm. But so over the last six weeks, he's been uh, in um, in the middle of a trial mm -hmm. in uh, in New York. Yeah. Uh, with a a judge who donated to Joe Biden. How's that? Oh. How's that what? Say how's what you that, want to say. How's that not a conflict of interest? But what do you it, mean? Like, why why would it why would that be a conflict of interest? Oh. It's it's obviously a conflict of interest if you I'm have, playing devil's advocate here, If but. you if you have a judge who donated to the campaign of a president who is on the opposite side of the president who is who is now being tried in his court it just really sounds like the the literal definition of conflict of interest his daughter the, the judge's judge. daughter uh-huh works and ha has worked for joe biden <laughs> and works closely with people in the democratic party right now she's hired by them you're going to tell me that this isn't a massive conflict of interest the first thing is the, uh, let's let's be court in New York, dude. That's the worst part. Like any judge is just gonna fucking throw the book at you because it's New York. I want to be, even though Donald Trump probably built the fucking building where they're goddamn holding this. Uh, weird, huh? Yeah, yeah, weird. But that, but he's the criminal, right? Oh my god, man! This is the problem that I have right now. Is is, is we have. We have a country 
that is optically split 50 50. Yeah. I don't believe that one bit. Yeah. The important part was optically. Yeah. Because that's what it seems and that's what we're shown. Right. And I think what we're seeing is a 1% of a certain side that is throwing temper tantrums, uh, beating on the floor, kicking and screaming until they get their fucking way. Mm -hmm. While the other side is going, oh, don't, don't do that. You're kind of embarrassing us. Like, don't, don't be that way. Let's. Yeah. Okay. All right. You can have your fucking ice cream. Yeah. Because we're tired of hearing it, right? But I think that there's a there's a portion of the in the middle. And and I think you and I are in the middle, but we're not quiet about it. Mm-hmm. Right. I think there's a portion of the 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 middle that's going, I really don't have time. And I mean, I'm that I'm that way too. You're that way. You're definitely that way. You're For more sure. that way than I am. Yeah. I have to say, but like, I really don't have time to fuck with this shit. Like, I don't have time to be bothered with this shit. Like, I have a job. Well, I wasn't have kids. that the reason why we elect officials to deal with this shit for us, right? But are they doing their fucking jobs? Of course not. Oh, but that, but that, I imagine this is what this is why we're supposed to do this. You have a group of people who go, you know what? We got to do this business. We don't have time to do this shit, so we're gonna elect the person who most represents our interests and that's your job now we are instilling the trust into you to make the right decisions in our best interest so you do that and what happened over time now is you have a motherfucker who gets elected works about 40 hours a year <laughs> doing abso fuck for, for a hundred nothing hundred and seventy thousand dollars a year yeah, yeah. like you know, man. I'd like to get paid one hundred and seventy thousand like, dollars for forty hours. Like me and work. you work normal, just working class guys. Forty right? hours a week, yeah. Yeah. Can you remember every day of the past four years? Probably not. I can remember a lot but, of them, just but, not every day. But if you really think about how much you accomplished at your job in yeah. four whole fucking years, oh yeah. And then look at what these fucking assholes from the president down do in four fucking years. Look at our current one. He He's literally destroyed our country. But it, like. No, 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 no. Seriously, think about that. No, you're right. You're right. But the things, it, it's almost like he destroyed our country because he's only there. To destroy our country. Yeah. And that's half, the only reason I, he's there. I think it's on purpose. But half of the time, I don't think they're even there. Like, okay, so they're not doing the work. The well, we, job. We've, we've heard we've heard the 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 description of the of this 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 current state as it's like the Titanic is sinking. Yeah, and the rich people are stealing the China yeah. before they tell the poor people. Mm-hmm. Right, they're they're stealing the China and loading up the fucking uh, yeah the rescue boats right. and leaving before the and saying the everything's poor, good. Don't yeah, worry about yeah, it. before the poor people realize. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, why are you taking the chairs into cabinets? Yep. Don't worry about it. Stealing Everything's good. silver in the China. And yeah. Yeah. They're, they're robbing this country. Yeah. From underneath our noses and going, everything's fine. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Just here. Here's $600. <laughs> yeah. That won't make go, it worse. Go buy a TV. Go to Walmart and buy a TV. By the way, all of you motherfuckers. I, I, I that went point, to Walmart and bought a TV? <laughs> I want to point something out. Obama gave you a stimulus check. Donald Trump didn't, but you still went out and bought TVs. Joe Biden gives you a stimulus check, and all you motherfuckers run to the goddamn stores. Again, you don't go buy food. Right. You don't go buy things that you need. You mm-hmm. go buy a fucking TV or a fucking Xbox yep. or a fucking PlayStation. You buy yeah. fucking bullshit. Uh, people buy the shit they want yeah, instead of the shit they need. But that's the American way of life, man. That's why Amazon is what it is. Because people buy what they want more than what they need anymore. We went and bought food. We went to meat markets several times with those things. We were like, I guess if we're getting them and we have to take them, 
we're going to pay them back in, in taxes. We may, we may as well get good shit with it. Yeah. So no, we, the- went, we went to meat markets and we, we, we went to farmer's markets and bought uh, sustainable foods that we could put in our shelves. Why do and- they give people stimulus checks? Okay, so the, the COVID thing was the no, was like the, as a whole, like round, like it's to, it's they, to it, stimulate it's, the economy, right? Because the economy isn't doing so well. Correct. That's why Obama. So did the way it back to in, fix in, it is to hand out free money and tell yeah. people, "I promise you, this won't make it worse." Yeah, it was back in like what 2010 that he did that 20, 2012. 20, and then when the few like people who know what inflation actually is go, wait a minute, no, this isn't going to make it better. This is going to make it worse, bro. It's only going to exacerbate the problem. They're like, no, no, no. Trust us. We're the elected officials. We're going to give everyone in the country $600. It's going to make everything better. And then two, three years pass. And all of a sudden your French fries now cost $7 for a large. It's You're weird, going, isn't it? What the fucking fuck? Why, why, why does, why does, why, why, why does a cheese, why does a double quarter pounder at McDonald's, which I don't eat this shit anymore, by the way. Uh, why does a double quarter pounder at McDonald's cost me $14 now? Yeah. When it used to cost, I don't know, five bucks right. back in the day. Yeah. Six, maybe six. Yeah. Six or seven bucks. I think when I was in my twenties. Yeah. Because you could go to McDonald's and you can get the, like, like a whole like double cheeseburger meal, large yeah. with French fries for like five bucks back in the day. Yeah. And I, that was, that was, a, that was a tasty meal. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Especially when you're super duper poor. Oh you yeah. Know, living, living on your own, smoking weed all day. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my buddies, man, I would have 10 bucks and I'm like, I can get, a nickel, get some double cheeseburgers. I can get a nickel bag of weed for five bucks and five McChickens or double cheeseburgers, you right? Fucking McChickens, bro. You're not fucking getting McChicken for 99 cent no more. Spicy. Spicy the, McChicken. Oh, the spicy McChicken. You had to get the spicy. Of course. Could not get the spicy. That don't exist anymore. It don't. Neither do the nuggets. You know how much some damn double cheeseburgers are now? No. They're definitely not in the 99 They're cent not, menu anymore. To, is there such thing as a 99 cent menu there anymore? There is not. No. There's no such thing. Is there like, they're like, here's a <laughs> one, two, three menu. <laughs> yeah. And the shit they got on there for a dollar? Yeah. I know. It's like. Are you a, fucking kidding me? A kid's cone. <laughs> You're like, it's just half a cracker. <laughs> it's half a fucking animal cracker. Right. It's like a giraffe and they bit the neck of it off. Yeah. They were like, you get this part. And the funny thing now is they're digital uh, menus. So when you pull up, it's sitting on their main menus and all these things over here are kind of rotating. And it's like, kids menu. Nope. Gotcha. <laughs> and you're like, wait, why? You thought, bitch. I swear I saw something for like $2 there. Bring it back. And you're just waiting. Fuck it, I'll have a number four. <laughs> All right. Guess, uh, guess I'm getting a double quarter pounder. Uh-huh. A number four. Pull around. That'll be 1829. Mm-hmm. Would you like to round up to the next dollar to support the Ronald McDonald? Right. Uh, yeah. No. No, I wouldn't. Okay, so I do. Fuck them. No, hold on. No. And, and I think you should too. <laughs> No, you listen to me. Listen, you just the got Ron- my uh, no, 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 Mr. Ed horse if, face. If you, if you go to McDonald's, and I'm not telling everybody to do this, I'm telling Jimmy that he has a responsibility to do it. Uh, McDonald's is probably jacking half your fucking dollars, okay, bro. No, stop. They're like, you need to let me explain this, and my wife will agree with me, mm-hmm. and your goddaughter will agree with me. Okay. Uh, the reason. We were able to uh, stay in Orlando with our daughter while she spent two weeks yeah. in the NICU after she was born. Yeah. Was because of the Ronald McDonald House. No. Absolutely. No shit. I and didn't know that. Fucking me up. I did not know that. I will forever be grateful for that. I will huh. give, I will, oh, I will fuck, round man. my change up. I will round I my change like up. I feel like this conversation time. is starting to cost me money. So just move on now. I'm sorry. Cause I, I got, I got, fucking, <laughs> like, I got fucked up too. No, I, I will forever round my change up when it comes to that because, because of what they did for us. Tell me what Walmart does then. What, what is Walmart? Oh, I will not, I will not round because my they fucking do that shit up too. for Walmart. I will not do that for Walmart. There is no other place in the world that I will not, that I will do that for. Okay. It is literally just for the Ronald McDonald House. Okay. I just want to make sure. Because they actually do really good things for families. Okay. Especially when it comes to children. That's the one thing 
McDonald's is okay. a shithole. Let's let's be a hundred percent honest about what they're serving everybody. It's yeah. trash food. Mm-hmm. Don't eat it. Stop fucking being retarded. I know it. It sucks. I know it sucks. You 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 can't eat healthy because you're poor. I feel that, dude. I'm the same way. I also had to. I had to make it's, adjustments in my life because I was becoming time. a fat ass. It's money and time. I yeah. think for most people, I was two hundred and forty pounds. Poor. It's poor and. No yeah. fucking time, man. Yeah, I Imagine, was, like, I saw uh, me and my wife were watching some type of documentary, and there was this woman. She had three or four kids. She works two jobs, and it was about, like, going to McDonald's and how much it costs and all this. And then also with groceries, you're like, where, where do I find the time? And and it, it just it hits hard. It hits it real. And, and not everyone, a lot of people don't have empathy for people who don't have the same they You're don't right. they don't they don't understand yep. yeah. so it's hard to have empathy for something it is you know when it you is. never go through it it is so, and and th- that's that's the only reason that, that that's the only reason I like I put that sob story on you but I had to no like, but I'm I need, glad I know that yeah, I needed now. you to understand that because for sure for forever for the until the end of time well because how because much of what you, they did for our family I will forever donate to them. how much have you seen come out of like people giving their money to most of these places that ask to round up or it, it's it, you look, see look, nothing look, so, look at the Susan G Komen foundation you start to question it uh, uh, we're fighting breast cancer no you're yeah. not you're paying your CEO two million dollars a year right how the fuck right that's what I'm talking is that about. even like that's yes. not even appropriate. Yeah, we did but a study you and that I have said had this conversation. You know, Walmart before. takes seventy percent, and then these people get twenty percent, and then ten percent actually goes to the cost. And you and I have had these conversations before, where charities are not in the business, yeah, of fixing the fixing problem. the problem. Yeah, uh, they want to stay in organizations don't work for not profit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If they fix the problem, they don't get funded anymore. Right. If they don't fix the problem and they shoo money off into certain fucking areas, yeah. then then certain people benefit and they get their funding still. It it's, a, it's a fucking travesty that these things happen. It's true, but because they if we actually out- like like if we actually took all the money that had been, that has been dumped into fixing the homeless problem, yes. and we put it all together, it would probably it would probably be. <laughs> Uh, the, it, it would be the net worth of fucking Elon Musk. Yeah. And we would have fixed this the, problem yes. already. Yeah. But guess what? You can't fix that problem, nor do yeah. they want to fix the problem. That's it. Because they can, they can then when, when you, when you push the homeless into certain areas, yeah. you can push the housed out, out. of those areas, yeah. buy the property at dirt cheap because That's the right. homeless took over. It's yeah. a scam, dude. It's yeah. all a fucking scam. You can use it as a tool to gentrify an area. Mm-hmm. Right. All it's all a scam, like you said. That's how I I view most of this shit, right? Like, let's be honest. Racism pays well, oh, and people yeah. are in the business of getting paid, keeping it going. Because if they solve the problem, then they're out on. That's all they have, right? Yep. You got the the Al uh, Al Sharpton, the Jesse Jacksons, oh, and these yeah. guys. Look how rich it's these two guys are. All they fucking do. And, and what they, they, what have they done in their thank lives? Thank you. Look at Black Lives Matter. Racist. What the fuck? Everybody's a racist. Yes. Right. That's all they do. That's all they do. Right? And they're like, support us. Support the cause. Send money to this. And then you click on it. It's like half of it's going to the fucking National Democrat. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just, it's crazy. But they found out that. Well, shit, if we have this problem and we make people feel bad enough about this problem to give us their money, right? Yep. We act like we're going to fix the problem. Realistically, we just <laughs> exacerbate the fucking problem and just keep breaking in the money. Climate change. Yeah. No, global warm. <laughs> which is it now? I'm from the 90s. I don't know which one it is. It's climate change now. Oh, okay. So what? Yes. It was, I, I'm with it you was, on the global warming. Yeah. It's global warming when we were growing up. <laughs> You know, back before the world was supposed to end in 10 years, 40 years ago. 12. <laughs> yeah, 12. 12 years. 40 years It's, ago. it's always 12 years from now. For sure. Like, the end of the world is always going to be 12, 12 years from the day that person says it. Hell, the next crazy fucking law is going to solve our racism problem, isn't it? 
you know, and equality and all these things. Yeah. It's always the next law. If you take away the guns. Yeah. If you yeah. take away the guns, sir. How are you going to get robbed at gunpoint? Then point? no one can rob you at gunpoint. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it makes sense, right? It's obvious. It's an obvious thing. Which brings me to a point. I want to look up something. Go, okay. You keep talking. It's just fucking asinine, though, that people fall for this shit. And I also have to question, do you think the education system in America is also a fucking scam? Because wouldn't it benefit at this point in math to teach people about tax um, uh, brackets and how to maybe figure your taxes out and percentiles and percentages and, you know, these type of things like, or or is school just kind of teaching you how to take a test, be a worker, be, and then be dumb as fuck when you get out. So you're one of these people who are like, hell yeah, I'm going to support your cause to fight shit that you really ain't fighting for. Yeah, bro. Don't think for yourself. Let us do that for you. Right. Just do what we tell you and everything will be fine. Cause like, it scares me. You that will own nothing and you will be happy. <laughs> True shit. It scares Do me that they say you, 50% of the country voted for Joe Biden. That's a scary fucking thing. Look at this. No, here, here's the thing, dude. I don't for one second believe that. I don't either. But there had to be some point there. I mean, there had to be some people. Oh, I'm sure there, there were some people. Like, even I if still it was see what I still this I still see the local guy riding around here yes. with the Biden tab bumper stickers, and I laugh at him every fucking time. I wave to him. Like, I'm like, "Hey, how you doing?" Yeah, I don't I don't hate him. No, I think he's an idiot. Mm-hmm. I think he's a bred. He's a born and bred idiot. And if he procreated, we're all in fucking trouble. Yeah. And if his procreations had procreations, no, we're we're fucked. fucked. Yeah, idiocracy, man. Because that's the, that's the start of it, isn't it? That's the start that's of idiocracy. Yeah. Very much. It's just a, a family tree of retardation. Yep. That probably started with Joe Biden, but we'll, we'll, we'll move past that. I want to live through it. I want to see it. How is it that you can literally be on tape? On, on, on tape. I say on tape. See, that's how old I am. 90s, man. Yeah. You can Global literally. Warming. No, the 80s. You can literally be yeah, on yeah. film. Oh, but see, there it is again. You can, <laughs> you can be on video saying, I told the prosecutor if he doesn't fire. Yeah. Or I told the president if he doesn't fire the prosecutor. Right. He's not getting the billion dollars yeah. by six o'clock. Fine. Well, son of a bitch. The, the, he fired the prosecutor. Yeah. How the fuck is that guy our president? How the fuck is he allowed to walk around a free man? Because How the fuck are the Clintons, I said it, allowed to walk around as free people mm-hmm. after the shit that they've been implicated in? You can't tell me you couldn't find one fucking iota of dirt yeah. on those fucking people? Right. Well, no, they, they wiped you the servers. Because all, they, 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 they bleached them. It's true. You know, like Donald Trump wanted to do with your insides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's What I'm getting at, at point- is it's, it's, it's so fucking lopsided now yeah there's there's never going to be an accountability standard for the the people like in office man it just doesn't exist there's no way there's no way you can say that any one of the people in the senate and the congress in the house like none of these people will ever be held accountable you did did, what what was the third fucking time they're like we found cocaine at the white house probably hunter biden's uh (laughs) next story in, in other news uh a mother was arrested for uh, wearing a Trump shirt in Orlando, Florida. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She, her home was raided by the FBI. Yep. Uh, next story, Joe Biden shot a puppy in the middle of the street and then claimed it was uh, digitally uh, uh, fucked with. Oh, yeah. That it, that it you know what I fake? mean? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's always that. And you're like, wait, wait. You just, in the same news story, told me you arrested a mother for supporting Trump. And not even arrested. You had the FBI in that bitch, the feds, right? Yeah. They're like Homeland Security You went real in, far for it, yeah. Right. And fucking snatched her up out of her Subaru. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wait, no, no, no. no. Gays She's drive like, Subarus. She can't be a mom suburban. and be gay. She, suburban. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Soccer mom. She Something had some, gas heavy. There was like soccer yeah. balls in the back. Mm-hmm. Maybe an M4. Doesn't fucking make her a bad person. You know, makes her one of my favorite people at this point. That's right. Rocking an M4 in the back, but under the and then you're like, spare goes. 
more cocaine, not cocaine, more cocaine was found at the White House. Who the fuck's coming to the White House bringing the cocaine? That's what I want to know. They don't call her Jen Psaki for nothing. <laughs> Every time that bitch comes into the White House, they find some coke. Her and old uh, fucking party. Kareem John Pierre, they're back there fucking. <laughs> <laughs> why is there? Why is the ledger always her at four a.m. coming in? What's what's the deal with this? <laughs> her and Hunter Biden. Mm-hmm. We even got him on video. He's got a whole jar of fucking Parmesan with him. Exactly, exactly. No, That's what they'll I do. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you about that, dude. But but that's why going, our country yeah. is. That's why the Clintons can walk around and steal your money, mm-hmm. fuck the country over, delete uh, shit off of a computer, and just just keep on fucking living. Yeah. Meanwhile, you and me, if we say the wrong shit on this show, in the seven people who watch, God. one of them is a fucking fed. Yep, we're fucking toast. It it makes me feel like our constitution it truly is an illusion. It does. It, it feels, um, man, I'm trying to think. Me and my wife were watching a movie. No, we weren't watching a movie. Oh, we were watching, uh, uh, I was one of, it, like, you ever seen shit? Like Live PD, right? You know Live PD. You ever seen the one where they just arrest people and take them to jail? It's filmed in the jail, not out. Like with the police, it's in yes. the jail, kind of like 60 days in or yeah. uh, first time locked up or whatever the fuck it was. It was mm-hmm. just some shit my wife was watching. I come home, I'm, I'm watching it with her. And the more charges that are being brought on people, I'm starting to think, man, this guy got arrested for walking and being drunk. They pulled him over because he was walking mm-hmm. and then they arrested him. And charged him with being drunk in public. He didn't do anything. He didn't, like, cause a scene. He wasn't like, hey, I'm belligerent as fuck. He was walking to his hotel where he was staying, right? He had walked to the bar that was, like, around the corner. Mm -hmm. But he came out of the bar, started walking towards the hotel. Cops spotted him, stopped him, blood test or uh, breath test, right? Yeah. Yeah. Over the limit. Now your your public intoxication. And I'm like, dude, this is what I'm so much for being fucking free. Because I'm a big like a uh, uh, victimless crime. There's way too many victimless crimes mm-hmm. that are punishable crimes. Okay. Like mm-hmm. having weed on you. Yeah. You should not fucking go to jail for having weed. I don't believe it. I don't believe it either. And you definitely, because we saw a girl who was arrested. They said she's facing up to 30 years. This chick's 20. Yeah. Right? She had like 17 pounds of weed. A lot of weed. But 30 years. Right? Yeah. Now you got two motherfuckers out here who just got arrested. One of them, a felony assault. Right? Mm Mm-hmm. Facing up to three years. Okay. So if you hit somebody, you fuck them up. You're looking at three to five years. If you got a lot of weed on you, you're looking at 30? Yeah. Like I said, so much for freedom. I don't I don't agree with half of the shit. I know. I, I feel like we never started there. I know. And we didn't intend for it to go there, but it went there, and here we are. I know that was a lot of like... No, no, you're. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm also looking some stuff up. Um, but I feel like I, along with that comes what we see, man, is is just less freedom for us, more freedom for them. There is no accountability. No, like, dude, we were prepared to start wars mm-hmm. over, and I mean wars with ourselves yeah. over one percent tax increase. We did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, excuse me. It was a two percent. Two percent. Yes. Now we see half our check going away going, oh, shit. And it sucks. I wish I got more money back. Yeah. And they're like, and, fuck and, you. And the next president's like, I'm going to give you more money back. But it's like, point, Sorry. Point zero zero three eight five seven. Right. that's what you're getting back. 
Yeah. It's not much. You're not yeah. getting much. Vote for me. I'm going to pay off all your student loans. <sighs> and, then, yep. and, and then you vote for the guy and he's like, okay, so here's the criteria. I will pay up to X amount for a person who meets X criteria. And you're like, oh, so like 0.00003% of the people who went to college, which is 0.00005% of the population. Yeah. Cool, bro. So what'd that cost you? $78? Right. right. Meanwhile, you're like, we're doing great things at the White House. We just sent $75 trillion, $100 billion to, 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 to uh, Ukraine. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> So we're the good bird in that because yeah, it's, it's I feel like wild. I need to <laughs> I wild. feel like I need to drink. So did you ever go get you a bottle of this stuff? I haven't. I haven't yet. I have. I have too You're much. Shameful. No, I just have too much. I, I can't. I don't need to buy it, man. I have a lot of fucking whiskey on my shelf. I just got gifted. It's forty five fucking dollars. Two of my good friends, man, just gifted me. Two different types of fucking whiskey. I have those two bottles on top of the seven. I love you too, buddy. (laughs) It's a fucking shit ton of whiskey, man. And I need to get through that. I'm a poro. So now I'm like, I have enough. I do something else with the money. And then when I start to get low, trust me, that is on my fucking radar. But you did go get your EH. Yes. Good boy. Yes. And your, your Eagle Rare. No, Uh, I haven't. Son of a bitch. Well, it it was. I went in there. She didn't have shit today. Really? Yeah. Uh, no, so, that's that's one of the ones I want to have on the shelf as well. So I remember, I remember years ago, you, uh, you and someone else, uh, he who will not be named, mm-hmm. uh, were really, really emphatic about um, following a certain guy, and and being like, yeah, this is this is the guy. If shit goes, if shit hits the fan, this is the guy. He's going to tell us what's going on. He's doing this whole thing. Uh. Tell me, tell me, tell me what you think about Mike Glover now. I haven't seen. You haven't seen? No. What happened? Arrested on domestic battery, domestic violence. Really? That, that's apparent. I mean, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure no because shit. here's the fun fucking part. Yeah. As big of a name as that guy is. Yeah. Like in, in the world, like, well, he's not that big. Let's be honest. No, he's not, but he's big enough to be like, I he think- should have made the news at least in some shape or form. The only thing I have is something on uh, on Twitter okay. uh, that says he was arrested for domestic violence charges on May 1st. Really? Yeah. But, what, like, stemming from what and how? Uh, maybe he, I don't know, did he? I feel like we're in a Steven Crowder situation right now, right? Like, see, a lot of people are like, oh, he fucking... Uh, it, it's they're they're trying to silence him. And well, I'm like I, oh, mm. are you sure they're trying to silence him? Like, are you sure it's not just a? If they were trying to fucking silence, dude, they just look at what they do to Trump. It's so overt. That why would they be so covert going after Mike Glover? They'd be like, oh, bang. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Mike Glover found dead in a ditch. Yeah. Uh, I was just curious. In because, other news, there's a lot of fucking hurricanes this because year. If you, now you're on Google right now. Yeah, Google Mike Glover. Just just Mike Google Glover. Mike Glover and see if anything comes up about it. Mike Glover actual Instagram. You're gonna get the X, Reddit. Uh, Reddit. Boom. That's it. That's it. That's arrested. fucking it. That's it. That and 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 there there's a post on X. Oh, uh, there's a video here posted 18 hours ago. Fellow Green Beret weighs in on Mike Glover's domestic. That's it. Title. Would you like to audio it? Uh, nah. no, because I'm curious. Like, send me the link. I'll fucking we'll we'll do it. Because I I'm I'm curious, dude. I'm curious because I think it's kind of weird, and I also don't think that it's not possible. Mm-hmm. For fuck's sakes, dude. He's a former Navy SEAL. He's a vet. Yeah. If that guy doesn't. He's a Green Beret. Well, he was a Navy SEAL, but he is also a Green Beret. Was he a SEAL? Yes, he was a SEAL. Okay. Um, Works is your platform to perform on. That's not how that works, sir. We're trying to pause it. Fucking thing wasn't muted either. Son of a bitch. You want the audio cable? No, I was going to. You're just going to send it to me? Yeah. 
Um, so the thing about a lot of these people, dude, is when I started watching, like, I found Mike Glover through probably the realest dude that I still stand by, uh, Sean Ryan. I don't know if you know Sean Ryan. That dude is a fucking... That dude is the guy. He is the Sean, fucking Sean, guy. Sean Ryan, does does he have a podcast? Yes, he does. Uh, short hair. He's kind of... Uh, God, I don't know what he looks like. But I, like when I hear that name, I know I know who you're talking about. Airdrop. What in the actual fuck? What? Yeah, why aren't you airdropping shit? No, I'm saying, where is my airdrop? I don't know. You have to like, fucking... It's not fucking... Oh. You have to right-click your shit, bro. Don't turn your sound on. Oh, that was sound? Yeah, that's your audio. All right. Right-click the link. Oh, here we go. Share. Yeah, okay, there. Uh, that should bring up airdrop. Nope. That's... Do you not have your Bluetooth on? Do I not? Yeah, that's right. Oh, mm-hmm. airdrop is not on. There it is. Boom. Everyone. I can't believe that you're like, like even I fucking, I've been airdropping shit back and forth between my phone and this damn computer for fucking weeks now. It's not popping up on YouTube though. It's weird. It is weird. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I could do it this way. Nope, there is send to your devices. Nope. Ah, it's weird. So anyhow, like yeah. I, I was curious because it's it seems like a <sighs> hey, wait. That guy's a green beret. Yeah. Why? I feel like I could fight him. <laughs> you better calm down, man. I'm just saying. Like I ain't even had an I ain't even had that much. I've had one glass of whiskey, and I'm like, I feel like I could fight that guy. You may feel like you could fight him. I feel like he could. I didn't say I'd win, bro. I said I feel like I could. I mean, yeah. Anyhow, are you are you about to AOL me? (laughs) Ninety shit, bro. Come on. The fuck are you doing, bro? Golly. I ain't open my fucking email in forever. I'm trying to just fucking Google it. God damn it. We got the same fucking thing. Type in Mike Glover. That's literally what I Googled. I was like, Mike Glover. And it fucking pops up. So I also want to point out that your. Uh... What? Because you use Safari. I use what? Chrome. Oh, you're using Chrome? Yeah, I use Chrome. That's weird. No, it's not. Safari is fucking trash. That's is like the, like I'm the, so used to. That's it, the though. thing that Apple fucking sucks at. I'm so used to it though. Like uh, I hate Safari. I used to like Safari, and then they stopped fucking with it. Like global market share of browsers, yeah. Safari is like three. Really, Chrome is like seventy percent of the fucking market, and then everything else. Do I have to download it? Yeah, nah, it's fucking gay. Anyways, so we'll, a, we'll move on. Good. I just, I wanted to ask you this question. So like, I'm not overtly uh, concerned about it because like the topic that I wanted to really talk about today was like the potentiality of Donald Trump being elected president yeah. in prison. Can that? It can happen. Yeah. You, you can you be can a elect- full out fledged convicted felon uh-huh. in prison and get elected president in this country. It is not in our constitution that you cannot. I'm going to vote for Dahmer. That's weird. I think you should vote for Donald Trump. That's just my opinion. <laughs> you vote for whoever you feel like you should vote for. I want you to do it on your own. I want to vote for the guy who's going to literally eat the other guy. <laughs> well, so that's the other point. Now, I, I want to. I want to do. I, I do want to show you something. Uh, I'll bring it up here in a like, minute. I, don't, I, I was okay during the Obama era. I was like, we need the guy who's going to run the country like a business. Now, in the Biden era, I'm like, we need the guy who's going to kill the other guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because where does it stop? They're, that's what they're doing to the, the, the other guy. Yeah. So I sent one to you the they're other like, day. How do we like murder him without really doing it? How do yeah, we yeah. like end his life, yeah. end his career? I don't, think they'll, I don't think they'll try that, dude. They, they know... They know Dude, that they're shit trying will to pop. put him in fucking prison. Know, but they know but that's that, what I mean. But here's the thing: like, think of the, how think of the do le- we completely end his whole everything without 
being like, you think they're going to Epstein him in fucking jail? No, no. When I no, what I mean, though, is just take him out of the race and almost like a uh, 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 what was the the fucking chick who hit the other chick in the knee to ski this the skater. Damn it. What was her name? Uh, You know it. Oh, come on. 90 style. Fucking. Nancy Kerrigan. Nancy Kerrigan. They're and just, Tanya Harding. They're just trying to take him out of the game. You know what I mean? Like, end it forever. Just one great whack to the knee. No more political Donald So he's Trump. Nancy Kerrigan. They're Tanya Harding. No, Tanya Harding. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so. Yes. The, like, and uh, I don't know if you know who the Patriot Barbie is. I follow her on Instagram. I think so. So she's she's kind of a crap. Like she's like a kook, but okay. Some of her shit is really good. Okay. She ended up pulling up a lot of um tweets and she screenshot them, put them over into in, in into a, a reel. And uh like it is these liberals mm-hmm. that are like You guys kind of fucked this one up. And I don't know what you want me to do about it, but I got to do this. So the first one, Ron Rule. I don't, I don't, you can, you can, you, uh, maybe you can Google these guys while we're doing this and, and, and show me some, like, I don't know who these people are, but they're all verified on Twitter. On Twitter? Mm hmm. You don't even have to go to Twitter. I just, no, I know. Want to know who these people are because I really don't know. But this guy says, I'm voting for Trump. I don't even like him. I'm just tired of the the left, tired of the DEI and gun laws and tax ha- tax hikes and and climate nonsense and billions to for, to foreigners. I'm not voting for the man. This was this was the prolific piece that I that I really loved. I'm not voting for the man. I'm voting for the pissed off bull in a china shop who wants to burn DC to the ground. I'm like fuck yes. This is a liberal this is this is a lefty for all we know, right? We're all intents and purpose. Another one. I'm an RFK guy. And so I can't believe I'm saying this, but I just donated to Trump 24. I just can't take this anymore. These freaks are destroying our country. Oh. Isn't it crazy though, whenever like the people yeah. start to realize when it's too late? Oh, I think we fucked up. This one here. I'd love to know who this is. Her name is Jasmine Keith. 99% every the minute you look at her, you're like, you kill babies like in your womb a lot, right? And I'm I'm probably wrong about that. But she goes, fine. I guess I'm MAGA now. Oh, this motherfucker was time person of the year 06. Former CEO at As Seen on TV. Oh. No shit. And he is a fiery, but... Mostly peaceful libertarian, apparently. Now I like that guy. Oh, these are libertarians. These are the libertarians. Did you hear what the Libertarian Party did? Mm-mm. Rather, okay, so they they had Clint Russell a as CEO, a nominee. Yo, look at this shit, man. He's the CEO of a fucking of uh of, of as seen on TV. Yeah. Bro, that's dope. Look that's at, that's the coolest guy ever. Oh, look at this some, post. Co- some written house. It says, dude shot at three random lefties, and all three happen to be pedophiles and wife beaters. (laughs) I've said this time and time again, dude. They just happen to be. Like, how crazy is this? This is one of the things that made me believe in, like, believe in God. This is one of the, this, the Kyle Rittenhouse thing is one of those things Mm -hmm. that, one of the many things that put me into this realm of, like, Jesus Christ, there really is. Like there is a higher power that is moving things in a direction is he because there's this? zero possibility that this kid, this 17 year old inexperienced shooter mm-hmm. hit a pedophile <laughs> and a wife beater yeah. and a guy who was illegally carrying his weapon because of crimes he committed prior. Yeah. Right. So all three criminals. Yeah. All three of these men. And out. Burning shit during a riot. Hold on. All three of these men. Yep. Were ki- Were No, two were killed. Shot, yeah. One, all three were shot. Yes. Two of them killed. Right? Two of them were killed. Here's the fun part. 
the pedophile mm-hmm. was apparently from everything that I've read, mm-hmm. apparently seven kids, seven kids. How many times do you think he was shot? Seven times. Seven fucking times. Don't tell me that's, don't tell me that's just a coincidence. Just happened to be pretty fucking crazy. Hey, look at this. Why are squatters rights even a thing? Thank you. I feel the same way because of leftists. That's why. Because of weird fucking people who, for whatever reason, feel like they could probably Hey, that make... person that broke into your house has rights too. No, yeah. he fucking doesn't. Yeah. That's the whole, the whole fucking premise of <laughs> personal property. Right. You don't have the right to be in it. Hey, wasn't unless it? Unless I give you permission. Who's the, uh, what, what's... Lori Lightfoot, wasn't it her? Oh, Jesus. It's Beetlejuice. That tried to, when they, they say it three times, I dare you. Uh, no. <laughs> Fucking Lori Lightfoot showing up here and trying to. <laughs> That's twice. <laughs> you said it twice now. <laughs> Squat in our fucking studio. <laughs> I'm here forever now. Never leaving. We have to put a fucking mic in here for her and shit. Listen to some weird ass dumb shit. Anyways, you was it? You will never find. <laughs> A hairline like mine. <laughs> Dude, did she not, though, try to sign into law or signed into law? <laughs> Some squatters rights in Chicago that allowed people to live in your fucking shed. If they sh- like if they showed up and they were just like, we're going to live in your shed. <laughs> yes. She tried to do some weird shit like that. I can't remember exactly when, what it was. Yeah. And then people questioned like, well, like, what are you doing? Well, we're going to come live in your shed. And she was like, oh, no, not, but like, not my shit. Not my shit. Your shed. Your shed. Not mine. Like weird drug addicts I can, can live in. Y- yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's because like, I'm allowed to own a gun. <laughs> right. You're not. You're not. This Chicago bitch. Right. <laughs> like I'm the mayor of Chicago. Chicago PD is my gun. Mm-hmm. So when I'm like, hey, there's people at my house, I need Officer 2330 to be at the corner of this street, and like she did during the fucking rioting and shit in Chicago. Yeah. Whenever they were like, isn't it kind of odd that she has police stationed all around her fucking street? Yeah. Sure. Hey, Jim, <laughs> what do you, what, what be to you on tonight? I'm on Beetlejuice card duty. <laughs> Yeah. What the fuck did you do to get that? <laughs> Yo. I shot a black kid. <laughs> yes. That's that's fucked up, Jim. He was robbing someone at gunpoint. <laughs> I had to shoot him. We can't even have guns here. L- Lightfoot was like, you can guard me. You can shoot him. I can I I need that guard. Right. Fucking she's racist. Mm-hmm. She don't even like her own people. I'm not even sure she is those people. I'm I'm still trying to I'm figure not even out if sure she's, alive. she's people. Right. <laughs> that bitch looks half dead. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. So another like there there were like six of these things. I just like I, I can't stand that lady. This one guy's uh this is a senator. Eric Breck Eric Brackey Brakey. B-R-A-K-E-Y. Okay, breaky. I was undecided, but today's events have, have convinced me. I am voting Trump. Oh, back to the to the libertarian thing. Mm-hmm. This is this is where this is where this fucked me up. You started talking about Lightfoot. Sorry. The libertarians <laughs> during their national convention, instead of voting for, you know who Clint Russell is. Most people probably don't know who Clint Russell is. He's been on uh IRL a bunch of times. Yeah. He has his own podcast. Liberty uh, Lockdown. Liberty Lockdown. Yeah. He's here in Florida. Yeah. He was one of the candidates for the uh, Libertarian Party Party's presidential nominee. Right. Him, uh, there was a professor, uh, used to be a Marxist. He's a Libertarian now. What the fuck? Super awesome. He's been on IRL a bunch of times. Yeah. Um, God, if I can remember his fucking name. He was a professor. He's a smart guy. Smart guy. The, the Marxist thing was real stupid, uh, but uh, he he was he was the front runner. That guy was the front runner for for the Libertarian Party. Uh, and Dave Smith, like yeah, Dave I'm sure Smith. everybody knows yeah. who's, who, who Dave Smith is. He's a comedian, funny as shit. He's like he's he's he, I think him and Malice started the Mises Caucus, didn't they? 
Yes. Yeah. Some uh, they had something to do with it anyway. Is it Rechtenwald? Yeah, Rechtenwald. Uh, Michael, Michael Rechtenwald. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Michael Rechtenwald. They. That's a fucked up. The the fucking Libertarian Party blows my fucking mind. I swear to God, it's infiltrated. I Pro- swear to God, probably, it's infiltrated. Probably. Go look up. I feel like the right is infiltrated. These yep. motherfuckers, come on, man. Look up the Means. Libertarian Party's okay. nominee for presidential candidate. No, come on. Right there. That guy. Chase Oliver. Do you know who Chase Oliver is? No, I feel like I know his name, though. Pull up the Post Millennials article on Chase Oliver. This is this is where it's going to be fun. You're going you're gonna to lose your shit with this. This is what the Libertarian Party. Why does, where, where is it? Where, oh, pull up the... I literally Googled Chase Oliver Post Millennial and it's not. That's fucking crazy. Uh, pull up the Washington Post. Uh, I think it's the Washington right Post here? right there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, somebody changed the damn. One of them changed their fucking their headline. Oh, you can't even. He is an anti Trump gay. Open borders, libertarian. So he's the opposite of like the new libertarian. He's a liberal. He's a liberal. He's a lefty. Yeah, he's, he's a, a leftist. Lefty. Yeah. He's a leftist playing in the libertarian party. Yes. That's that's where the libertarians lose me because you know what they do is I feel like the libertarians are this really big group of, really small group, actually, of solid people with the same... But they're not the solid. Most, That's the thing. They can't They're they not can't solid. Coalesce. But, but <clears throat> a lot of them have this same, like, a little bit of left and a little bit of right, and everybody would be all right. Like, it's not... It doesn't have to be... But the thing is, libertarians if can't... If you steal an apple, we cut your hand off. But it also doesn't have to be... If you have apples, you need to give them to people who doesn't have apples. Because that, that's where we are with the left and the right. It's like if the lefties are like, you have apples, therefore we are entitled to your apples. So what the right is like, I have apples and I would like to sell them. But a lot of the right. I don't know, man. Yeah. I, so I don't let wanna, me ask you this question. What is what are the core? What are like the typical core tenants of the left of the Democrat Party? I don't know. What do you mean? What do you mean the typical core tenants like liberalism? Uh, it's equality. Equality. It's, it's, it's uh, fuck, man. Feminism, equality, mm-hmm. uh, uh, racial equality. It's all equality. Okay. Financial equality. Like so what, everything what, is. What are the core tenants of the Republican Party? Everything. Republicanism, uh, conservatism, capitalism. It's. Yeah, it's self uh, meritocracy over mer- or not self- merit over merit yes. over. Uh, 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 it's literally equity. the opposite of equality. Yes. It's equity. It's, or it's, not, it's, it's not. It's not. It, no, it's it's equality. It's equality, but not equity. Right. E- yeah. equality, equality based on merit. Yes. That's what it is. Yes. Like realistically, it's I'm hiring for a job. And I absolutely do not care who you are as long as you are the best person for now, this job for my company. what are the core of the Libertarian Party? I, the middle of everything. They're, they're, I don't know. It, it's kind of... You can identify the, de- the Democrats, right? Yeah. You can identify the Republicans, right? Yeah. Where the fuck do the Libertarians sit? Both. They, they well, okay. There are Libertarians yeah. that I like. Yes. And there are libertarians that I will fucking toss off a bridge. Yes, very true. Not literally. But the, I I'm think, saying like they there are there are there are libertarians that that I, I will think, I can agree with. Yes. And there are libertarians that I corely like to my to my soul, my bones, yeah. absolutely disagree with. Well, you know why? I think because so many of the so much of the libertarian party is comprised of 
lefties and righties, right? Mixed together who don't agree 100% on either side. So you might have these people from the right who go, you know what, though? I don't agree with the weed laws. I also don't agree with 100% of the abortion laws. I also don't agree with these laws. I'm not a Christian, I, but I do believe in 100% merit. I don't believe that forcing a company to hire people because of the color of their skin is not racism. I think it actually is racism. Yeah. So then you end up with a guy who's like, I don't really fit with you guys on the right. Definitely don't fit with you guys on the left. So now where am I? And the libertarian yeah. goes, you're one of us. Yeah. So, but then when you take this like magnifying glass and you look at the libertarian party from this giant scope, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, you're like the right and the left having a party at a lefty's house and your weed and beer money from the guy who was a conservative. And I don't know where the fuck you guys sit on anything because you don't agree. Because here's the problem. You're using, the, le- the, you're left- using the Democrats' house <laughs> for a house party for the Democrats and the Republicans. Right. And the Republicans the Democrat- paying for everything. <laughs> and, the Demo- and, and the Republicans have now brought all of the party favors. Yes. All of the snacks. Yeah. And the drugs. And the whole time they're arguing about open border policy because that's one fucking thing Two that fucking they cannot yes. goddamn agree on. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So a libertarian, that's the libertarian party. And yeah. I, that's where that's where I can like I love the idea the, the idea yes the ideology of yeah. libertarianism. But they'll never win because they can never agree. And the lefties, I swear Ooh. to you, bro, they go. They're you know what? I don't fucking agree with the left. But I'm voting Joe Biden anyway, and we'll, we'll fucking win. That's why they win, because they don't fucking care. But they're on that side. You know, they have a slogan, vote blue, no, no matter, matter who. who. Yeah. And that's the problem. Oh, no, yeah. Not, not to because mention that they will the send right. Antifa to your doorstep. Yeah, it's also a bad, yes, yeah. that's a problem as well. But on the right, we're like, wait a minute. I believe we should think for ourselves and probably research this shit. And then we go... I don't really agree with this guy. So we're a little divided. The Libertarian Party is wholly divided. And the left is a goddamn army of fucking idiots going, vote blue. I think, I think that, I think to be 100% honest, I think the best thing that we have found is the Freedom Caucus in the Republican Party. Mm -hmm. Those are the best of the best. No, man. Those are the best of the best that we have of actual libertarians. Leave me the fuck alone. Make smaller government. They're simple. Yeah. For the for for the majority of the uh, of the the Freedom Caucus. Yeah. They're very simple in what they want. But why are smaller they government not? and leave me the fuck alone? But they're not doing because it. They don't man. have power. None of them have power. Every single one of the they the also fucking say Freedom stupid caucus. shit and piss me off. <laughs> they tend to. What what is it they but, say that it's stupid? Well, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Over here arguing about somebody's fucking hairdo and nails and skin skin tone. And she wasn't just, wrong. She she wasn't wrong. <laughs> it's and it's hilarious. I, I think it's fucking funny. But when I when I go to pay my electric bill, that shit ain't fucking funny. But at, at the core of it, what do you think Marjorie Taylor is gonna what do you what do you think MTG is actually going to do about your electric bill? Well, I mean. Obviously, nothing at all. That is, but no, actually, uh, to be honest with you, that is going to be a federal situation where we have to fight the monopoly, we, which people, is my electric bill. Yes, we, yeah. we as people, as, as citizens of this country, have to figure out the best way to manage our energy. Yeah. Because off grid solar, son. Here's the thing no. Yes. The best way to manage our energy is to make electric companies give it to me for free. Make gas cheap as possible. Oh, because I feel like if Joe Biden. The cheaper gas is, the cheaper your electric bill is. If Joe Biden gave everyone free electricity, he would win. Just Do you think he can logistically do it? Logistically, what do you mean? Sure. Why not? Give everyone free Electric, sure. Electricity. How much, I wonder how much, honestly, if you were to take all the money that we send overseas and pay electric 
companies with debt? How long do you think we can keep the lights on? That's just a weird question. And not that it would ever happen, but if if you were able to send like three trillion overseas, do you think you could support the country's electricity bill with three trillion dollars? I don't no. know. No, I don't think you could. I don't think I you don't, could I don't either. Think you could. No. Not when mine's three hundred. Maybe. I don't I I don't know how much three trillion dollars is. My brain cannot fathom a number such as Well, it's three thousand billion. That made even that made it worse. How did that make it worse? How much is three thousand billion? And if if my it's a million millions, it's three million millions. I, I don't know. No, wait, a hundred million. It's a thousand million mm. makes a billion. I mean, I know the fucking number, and I can do the that's math. why I said it's it's. But it's what a I'm million, saying millions. is okay. How how. What's the population of the U.S.? Three... 330 million. 300 million. 350 million, yeah. How many of those are households, though? So if there's 300 million, is it 100 million households, right? Like two people per household. If you were to average it out, what do you... If you average it, yeah, it's probably... You, you go, million. go high end, it's literally half. So 100 million, 150 million, but 175. Million. If that's the population, is is that also including the homeless? So you don't have to worry about their energy bill, right? Did you hear me? Say that again. I said if that if that population includes the homeless people, do you x them out because they're not in a a home scenario? You don't have to worry about their electric bill, so you then round it down to roughly. It'd be like thirty seven trillion dollars a year to. To do electric for everybody in the real really? country. I think so. I think that's the, hold on, let me see this. 300, no, we're doing, we're doing it half. So 125, yeah, 125. Too many zeros. Watch won't let me go that far. Oh yeah. The watch is like, you. watch is like, you don't have that many numbers, bro. Right. Like, why do you need Why are that? you mathing that high? You're not that fucking rich. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. Uh, we're just going to average everybody's electric bill at $300? Might as well. I feel like, yeah. 3.75 E10. <laughs> I, so I don't know. My, my fucking calculator just freaked out. If you can E10. Oh, no, yeah. It's 35, it's 37, 37 and a half trillion dollars. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Five, that's hundreds, thousands, millions. No, 37 and a half billion dollars. Billion. Bitch, we send that to fucking stupid countries on a daily. Right. That's no. what I'm saying. So. You're fucking with me now. So nope. if that's the case. Oh. 37, 37, 38 billion dollars. 38 billion dollars a year. A year, bitch. Oh no, that's a that's a month. That's a month. That's a month. That's a month. That's a lot of fucking money. Thirty-seven <laughs> billion. Right? Yeah, yeah. A month. Let, let me go back. Let me math this. Ready? Yeah. For a year. Yeah. Times it by twelve. Uh, I got to turn it sideways. Hold on. I need more screens. <laughs> It'll be like three hundred billion, right? Four hundred billion. Three, four three, something. Three, one, two. There. Thirty-seven. Okay. Uh, times twelve. Three hundred, four hundred and fifty billion. Ooh, what is it? Mm -mm. Five hundred billion. It's four hundred fifty trillion dollars a year. No, you you can't. If if it's a hundred billion, no, it's thirty billion. Thirty seven billion times ten would be three hundred and seventy billion. Thirty seven times ten. How many fucking months are in a, in a year, bro? Twelve. Okay. So how do you go from? 37 billion uh -huh. times 10 is 370 billion times 12 is 300 trillion. I did 37 and a half a billion dollars times that by 10. What is that? Okay. Times that by 10. Jeez. Why would I times it by 10? Because when you times that shit by 12, it fucked you up for some reason. It didn't fuck me up. Yeah. Hold because on. you went way too high. 37. 10 billion times 10 is how much? 37. 37 million. 37 billion. That's 37 billion, right? Yeah. Hundreds, thousands, 
<laughs> millions, billions, yeah. All right. Is that to make sure I was in the right commas? You're right. Okay. Times. Yeah. yeah. 10. 12 months. Sure. Because it's 37 a month, right? Yes. Equals. 450 billion. Oh, 450 billion. My bad. Yes. It looked like more. No, it looked like more. It looked like more commas. It looked like more commas. <laughs> it was, <laughs> if you just told me billion at the end, I'd be better. I know. I don't math. I, me neither. I'm stupid. Not that high. I'm a stupid guy. Like after thousand, I'm done. Like I don't even get to a thousand. I'm out. Like my check's like, mm, <laughs> yeah, you're broke. No, but like <laughs> I can math a thousand, a hundred thousand. Now I'm kind of like comma. Okay. Million most money, like, most money I've ever gotten my entire end. life was the, the twelve hundred dollar stimulus check Joe Biden gave me. <laughs> that was the most money I've ever made in my entire life. I don't know the fuck, like I don't know what the fuck four hundred fifty billion dollars is. No, that's actually Elon Musk's net worth. Closely, my mind went to this though. But if, I think we you, send that type you, of money to overseas. Like, if you do thirty seven billion a month, yeah, times that by ten, that would be three hundred and seventy. Mm-hmm. So times that by 12, it's not going to be 400 trillion. It's going to be two months over 370 billion, Listen, which think, would be 30, 60. It'd be like 450-ish I billion think, dollars. I think if we made, if, if, if the government were, <laughs> were to pay for everyone's electric bill. They might as well. In the country. Listen, no, no, hear me out. They pay for their insurance and that's got to be way worse. Hold on. <laughs> like, I think, I think if we did this by the end of the month, or, no, by the end of the year, yeah, I'm almost 99% <laughs> positive that the government would be like, we're subsidizing this electric company, all, all of the electric companies. You're now under government control. Uh, we're slashing your budget by mm, a fucking half. What do you mean? The uh, electric company? All the electric companies. We're, oh, yeah, we're taking sure. over. Yeah, for sure. They'd be like, this is 100%. Too, you are not making this profit ever again. Yeah, no. Ever the fuck again. Right. Never. Right. Like, they're going to be like, you're never doing this. It'd be like, you do not need the guy <laughs> to watch this uh, reactor 24 7. It's just not happening. No. We you don't need a video camera guy. on it. Yes. You don't Somebody need Somebody can watch that bitch from home for 12 50 an hour. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> My wife's getting a fourth job. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be like the only guy I ever heard of that my wife works seven, 12 hour jobs. All in the same wait time. <laughs> yeah, wait. How many hours is in a fucking day at this point, bro? Like, she, what do you mean? She good, homie is good. She's like, bro, she's got this job where she's like, she's only responsible for one nuclear reactor, right? On camera, but she's got this app that moves the mouse around every 20 minutes, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> so like, it looks like she's actively she's doing yeah. shit, but she'd be like doing laundry. <laughs> that shit pays with them good chickens. too, bro. She would pay, she'd be fucking with them chickens. It's $37 an hour, bro. <laughs> right. I don't know what you want. Right. Like, we do what we do. Right. The app was a one time. I, mean, I may have spilled more information than I should have. <laughs> like that, it, that shit's fucking hilarious. I swear to you, bro. My wife, oh my, my wife God. works two jobs and she's a fucking beast for it. Like she, she chose it. She wanted to do it. I told her she didn't have to, but she was like, yeah. I want the extra money. And I was like, cool. Hell yeah. I was like, can we square shit away? Yeah. Like while we're doing it. Yeah. She's like, absolutely. That's the whole point. That's a cool thing, man. Like, That's having, dope. having somebody like that. My wife is that type of person where we, you know, we've obviously I have to work. She has to work. We're fucking poor people, but she's the type of person I, she would never. We've talked about it. She's like, what the fuck would you do if you had this much money or this business or this? And I'm like, uh, I mean, you don't have to be like, I wouldn't fucking work. And she's she could like, totally, what? she could totally work from home. Like my wife, no does. reason. Why would you not work? And I'm like, well, I mean, I would work doing what I want to do. She's like, yeah, I would still work. Like, what the fuck for? I mean, you guys could both work from home. Like, I'm just saying, like, it's a thing that you could I, do. I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. But I have like this one skill. But your wife could work from home and work literal yeah. two jobs at one time, and like, yeah, my wife does amazing. I would love She's just that, fucking man. killing it, dude. Yeah, uh, it, it's a little emasculating when your wife makes more than you, but it's fine. I don't mind. I spend her money too. Yeah, 
fucking right. She started making more money. I was like, all good. Daddy needs some money, baby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I used to call her my wife. Now she's my sugar mama. She is my sugar mama, bro. That's Fuck it. out. <laughs> Daddy yeah. needs some money. What you want for Father's Day? So, so see what had happened was. Oh, wait. Do, 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 do. hold on. I, I would like to point out this might be the first Father's Day that I don't have to pay for my gift. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so. So what had happened was I was scrolling through Paul Meadow, and I seen this thing, and it's in my cart right now. If you want my login, you could just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You could just go ahead and check out. It's already put together. You just make sure it's in stock. <laughs> yeah. Make sure it's in stock in that color. Wait, it gets better. And then just hit the checkout and go through the process. Oh, dude, that one changed. <laughs> that was not the one I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, this. Look, I have I have pages up. So when she picks up my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're like Ralphie. They're already You're like ready. Ralphie on fucking uh what's the uh the Christmas a Christmas story where okay. he's like my mom's going to pick up her magazine and I swiftly placed in this this uh <laughs> ad for uh the Red Rider BB gun what so whenever doing? she she thinks she's reading an article in Time magazine she's hitting a face with this Red Rider BB gun. I'm ad. almost positive that this episode comes out on Father's Day okay. or on Father's Day weekend. So for for the record, like oh my I God. typically like I typically don't trip about Father's Day. Like I don't really yeah. as long as I get to relax. Yeah. I'm not fucking like I don't. Mm -hmm. Like I don't care. I just want to spend time with my family and and yeah. like I want to be a dad for, for a sure. day without having to be extra. Yeah. Right? Like I don't want to have to do extra shit. Yeah. I just want to be a dad. Yeah. You know? Yeah, definitely. I, I kind of killed it with my wife this this year for Mother's Day, and okay. she was like, "So I got I got to make it up, huh?" I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> "Yes, you do." That was the plan the whole time. So my <laughs> my wife loves eating ice. Okay. All right. My wife will only go to two Is places. A, wait to get ice. You mean like to eat cold yep. frozen water? Correct. Is this a fucking girl thing? It because probably I, is. I Does your wife you? like it too? And my mom. And your mom. So where do you, okay? Let me, be, before I before I divulge my secrets is, secrets is, I'll eat raw bacon before I eat ice. I like ice. I like. Uh, listen here, you'll change your mind too. Where do they get ice from? For the most the part, the ED ice. <sighs> Like where do they get it from? Do they get it out of the out of the we, fridge? Do they make their own ice cubes? No, bags of ice. Bags and, of ice from uh, I don't know. Like we, typically, we don't have ice. Okay, we don't really keep ice. So cool story. It's weird. If but you didn't my wife know. does prefer the round ice with the hole in it. Does she really? Yeah. I'm gonna change your mind on that, and I'm gonna change your mind on it. I don't like. And it's ice. something that you can think about. This is the greatest ice maker in the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm shouting them out. I don't get paid by them. I don't fucking care. But it's the greatest ice maker in the world. Should Frigidaire. We should get paid. And you should fucking pay me, Frigidaire. Frigidaire makes a nugget ice maker. Okay. That makes the same ice that you get at Wawa. That's in your cup right now. Really? Yes. And that is the most chewable, like, it's crunchy. Like, it's... it's right. Easy to chew, like you're not gonna you're not gonna break your fucking teeth, on right? It, right? It's not like the ice I use in a, in a bourbon, right? It's not a big <laughs> fucking, it's not a not a not a ball the size of the Death Star, right? Right? <laughs> That's like so hard. Yes, I can murder someone with it. Exactly. No, it's not that. Put that ice in a sock, <laughs> so you beat your kids with it. <laughs> it's just soft enough <laughs> where you're like you don't There's murder. No them. evidence left. <laughs> Fucking melts away. What's this wet sock? I don't know. I don't he was in know. weird shit. <laughs> I think that's semen. <laughs> don't touch oh, it. Oh, we're going to hell. Yeah, for real. <laughs> but that ice. Frigidaire makes the ice maker that makes that ice. 
It's, I wonder what ice maker my mom has because they have like a tabletop. I think, like paid, two, I think paid like Are you one of the it's fucking people who have a tabletop. goddamn tabletop I have a tabletop, ice, I have a tabletop maker? ice maker. What the fuck, I have a fucking man. tabletop ice maker. It's Let fucking gorgeous. Let me live vicariously through you and your richness. Would you like to come over and get, you, you, and get some of my tabletop why ice? Why do you... I feel like it's a rich people thing. What do you mean you, it's a rich people thing? When you come to bitch, my I'm house... Broke. I'm like, I got... I live in a room, fucking trailer. I got room temperature whiskey and I got just above room temperature water because the refrigerator only gets to this point in my window AC. That's a wall AC. That's technically like my my universal AC. Mm-hmm. It won't allow my refrigerator. My refrigerator is like, bro. I can't do You've been fucking with this chair, haven't you? What? No. Nothing. Go ahead. Go ahead, homie. <laughs> my refrigerator is like, bro. I'm not going to be shorter than you on this fucking <laughs> TV. What are you talking about? Bro, I was sitting here and I was like this. <laughs> Stop slouching, bro. I was like, posture. no, I was sitting this up. your back. I was sitting up. And I was like, what the fuck did this motherfucker do to my chair? I looked in the screen. I was like, bullshit. <laughs> you know what's so fucked you up, ain't though? taller than me. <laughs> Anyways. It's so fucked up, but now. Back to ice. Just because I didn't. The next time you come over here, I swear to God, it's going to be down to it. Be like this. <laughs> hey, y'all. He's going to be like, what? Welcome back to Mostly Peaceful. Well, what the fuck? Welcome to Mostly Peaceful. <laughs> Jimmy fucking hates me. I'm going to be like, I'm going to be over here with a little pillow under me. <laughs> Jimmy's got three books under his ass. All three Harry Potter books. <laughs> Definitely. First three. Anyways, uh, yes. So the ice machine, dude. Yes, I have a table. I have a countertop fucking ice machine. That is some pretentious. It's, you call it whatever the fuck you want. That shit is dope as fuck. It made my wife happy. And the blowjobs have gotten fucking way through the roof. Happy wife, happy happy life, bro. Right? Like for sure, dude. Yeah, mom and dad have a tabletop ice maker. I don't know what it's like to be rich, so you guys could explain it to me. I drink tap water. That's like. 70 ish degrees. Cool, cool story. You drink tap water that's <laughs> 70 ish degrees. At least you can drink tap water. See, I'm I grew up on tap water, right? I didn't grow up on well water. I shouldn't drink tap water, to be quite honest. You shouldn't. I, I need to atrazine. get like uh yeah. Atrazine, fluoride. chlorine, fluoride, all that shit. Like right? all that shit. Honestly, you I'm should probably, probably bald because of this. Listen, I should 20 probably years of this. I'm, I have well water and I should probably be drinking that, but I'm like, ew, stinky well water. You should. So I, what I do is I have a water machine yeah. at my house <laughs> <laughs> that I go get jugs of water from, from the grocery store. You can't freeze That's purified the water. water. What? I, I buy purified water. But you can't make that into ice? That's what we use for oh, ice. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, we... So this so doesn't when you have say like you a, have water a water line. machine. What this do you doesn't mean? have like a water line to it. I'll show you. This doesn't have like a water line to it. it. Like you have to fill it with water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it makes ice. Anything that melts from the ice, the place the ice is, yeah. it gets recycled and makes more ice. Huh. Eventually, after you've used all the ice, you have to add more water. But mm-hmm. like legit, it's the coolest fucking thing in the world. And I feel you like should you're really serious about your ice. I I am. Well, my wife was. My wife is. I don't fucking care. So, I've got really bad sensitivity in my teeth, man. Okay. I, I don't do well with ice, ice cream, cold products in general. And it's probably something... That's what I bought her. Look to it. That's dope, man. It's dope as fuck. Yeah, it, 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 listen. Listen, this thing makes ice constantly. It does not stop making ice until you tell it to stop making ice. Oh, this For all intents and purposes. has a scooper. Yeah, oh, yeah, it comes with all of it. Yeah. This is bougie, bro. It is. is you call it bougie, but... Oh, oh. I can hear My it. wife was happy. I can hear it. it sounds yeah. expensive. It, I mean, it, it's not that it's not that bad. Think about it. <laughs> no, it's like you see the price of it. Uh, Actually, I got that on a deal. It was like half that. No, the cool thing is, is it was a Mother's Day deal. Anyways, still make ice during hurricane season. Correct. I dig it. Yeah. See, my my wife likes ice. Yeah. 
I mean, you have a, you have a water, you, you have an ice machine yeah. in, in your fridge. Oh, so as long as your fridge. fridge is running, you can run, you make ice. Well, I never hooked it up. It's a thing. It's a thing because of you the made it water. A thing. The the way the way. <clears throat> all right, Kevin Hart said the way that my bank account is set up. I got a check in and a savings. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here we fucking go. Go ahead, Kev. So now the thing about me is. My wife didn't want it hooked up, and I didn't care either way because I really don't. I don't care either way when it comes to ice. I'm not. I'm not sold either way. Mm-hmm. I definitely will never eat ice because my teeth just can't do it. Mm-hmm. I have such sensitive teeth. I will cry in front of you. You can eat this ice. No, I swear on everything holy. Take a bite of that ice. Pull that ice out and take a bite of that. That's the best ice in the world. You can eat that all fucking day. No, I'm saying I've got sensitive teeth. I get get it, dude. So do I. So do I. When cold hits my teeth. Mm -hmm. I use sensitive toothpaste. Yes. Yes. Dude, they're tiny. Yeah, try that ice, bro. They're little bitty ice. I never looked in the cup. No, you haven't? There was no reason to. Have you never gone to Wawa and got a soda? Of course. Well, why would I look inside the cup? No, I've gone to Wawa to get chai matchas. Bro, take a bite of that ice. I'm which sit is, here and fuck which with me. now I feel like I sounded pretentious. When that I was that. pretentious <clears throat> as fuck, homie. Like me and my ice maker. See how crunchy and easy to eat that ice is? Yeah, it is. You could do that. Yeah, for sure. That's what my fucking ice machine makes. But I'm going to tell you this. What? As soon as I go to sip it and that soda hits my teeth. Painful. It's slightly painful. Here's I have to drink a certain way. Here's but, the I, thing. but I do have to say, I chewed the ice and the ice didn't. It, My it, wife will eat a straight cup of that. So here, here's a hint for you. You ready? If you go to Wawa, Ooh. if you go to Wawa, I, and, I definitely get it though. I, I see what you're saying. Go to Wawa. My teeth are fucked ass up. Yeah. Go to Wawa. Ow. Get that cup, fill it to the top with ice. Yeah. Walk up to the counter and see if you pay for it. Oh, it's free? It's free. No way. A cup of ice is free. You know what, though? Wawa, that shit's fucking dope, dude. They fucked up my chai matcha, and I don't like that. That's some faggoty shit you just <laughs> said to me. Listen. There's two things in this I'm world. I'm going to tell your wife you gay. I got them. That's... <laughs> so, this, the story is... What are you talking about? My wife knows. <laughs> The reason I get chai matchas is to take home to her. I don't drink it. Oh. Mm-hmm. She likes it. Sure. It's her thing, man. Sure. Chai matcha. And I fucked it up two weeks in a row. Ooh. I was like, let me get a what is it? A oh, you matcha. Fucked it up. So you no, no, no. fucked it up. No, no, no. I How was do you like, fuck it up? It's a touch screen, bro. Have I ever fucked up one of your snack wraps? No. Because it's touch screen. I know what I'm ordering. Listen, whatever they put in the matcha. All right. <laughs> You're right. But the way that... Okay, Sweetwater fucked it up when this it came... You. Okay. <laughs> Wawa fucked it up because whatever they did, whoever the person is, because there is still a human being making these drinks. Of course. We go there. There should be. And she gets a chai matcha with almond milk. Yep. Tastes great. She loves it. I taste it. And I'm like, yep. Whatever, right? It's a it, and it's it's good. Okay, cool. I mean, penis isn't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so then the next time we go, I'm like, I want something too. So I get, oh, what the fuck? I got some kind of shake. It was like an Oreo something shake, right? Because that, that's like what I'm gonna fucking do. It's what it's what every guy does because I want to be a kid. <laughs> right? Like, what is the sweetest? Yeah, coolest shake that I can buy? Right? It's You're like like a fucking Oreo mint chocolate chip. Everybody yes, that was what it. it was. It was mint chocolate chip. Yeah. So I'm like, yes, but Oreo cookies in it too. Yes. Can I get some Skittles too, bro? That shit was the Maybe some sweetest. M&Ms? Yeah. So good. No, we could not even. My wife drank. She took a sip, and I was like, "You know, yo, the one thing. Why? That- what happened? Because we had them before, and it wasn't that the it wasn't that wah wah shit is too sweet. It was whoever the fuck made this shit. They put so much whatever makes yeah. this thing sweet, yeah. like the chai, whatever. All right, so. Sweetwater, 
we have we we have a company down here that's like local, mm-hmm. and they do the chai matcha as well. Okay, that shit got like no sugar in it. Okay, and I was like, ew. And my ew. wife's like, no, I like it like that. Ew, bro. Mm. Whatever Wawa did, they made that shit so sweet. Neither of us drank it because I'm like, dude, you. And I feel I feel like what happens is people try to hook you up. It's like if you have it's, to, not, it's not to try to hook you up. It they have they have a model as to what like the norm of that should be. They went beyond it. They went it, it, it's it's not so much that they went behind it. It's just the the person making it may have had a heavier hand than the other, right? Yeah. With they, that with that said, like I we're talking about these things and I all like, oh, fuck. All I want to do like eat ice for for the, for for everybody, like I've I've made some major like l- like health decisions oh, yeah. over the last eight nine weeks ten weeks now, uh, I have completely cut out trash food for the most part. Like I don't really eat anything other than what my wife cooks, which is mm-hmm. relatively healthy, and she cooks for me mm-hmm. specifically. Um, and I've been working out six days a week. With the exception of like issues that show up and things that we have to do, yeah. Uh, Greg and I are doing it. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the whiskey uh, whisper. Yep. Um, Who we, actually gifted me a bottle of whiskey today? Yeah. Thank you, bro. Yeah. That was fucking awesome. I think it would have been cooler if he stopped by here and we were on air and he'd been like, "You fucking asshole." Yeah. Like, right. Like, right. Like, whatever. It yeah. would have. Yeah, it would have yeah. been cool. Uh, but yeah, him and I have been working out together. Yeah. Um, and like, I don't eat the junk that I used to eat and yeah. my God, like I, I don't feel bad about it, mm-hmm. but there are times when we start like, we'll, like just randomly, not just you and me, but like anybody that like anybody starts having a conversation about food yeah. and they're like, man, I ate some ice cream last night. And I'm like, bitch, I would love some fucking ice cream. Yeah. I would fucking love some goddamn fucking ice cream. Speaking of which, how'd that almond flour treat you? The almond flour is dope. All right, so it's so good, right? We made, yeah, we made fried chicken, uh, mm, fried chicken in the oven. Yeah, but we used almond flour and pork rinds mm-hmm. to make the crust. Yep. Bro, if you motherfuckers aren't on this fucking game, right. you need to get on it because that's dope. You don't have an air fryer? Uh, we don't. No, have okay. an air fryer? No, we we actually we had an air fryer. It's now at my job. Uh, uh, because it was a toaster oven, and I was like, "We need that." Effort. Okay, like, I okay. Need, I need some. Well, yeah, I need yeah, to be yeah. able to cook food yes. while I'm there. You know, I got you. <clears throat> Especially with the things that I'm eating now. Yeah. Uh, for the most part, it's like high protein, low carb. Yep. Um, That's the way to go, man. No carb, no sugar. Right. No sugar. Yeah, no sugars. Like I'm sitting over here. Like the most we used to be drinking fucking Wawa sodas. Yeah. The soda that I'm drinking is a. Uh, Coke Zero. It's carbonated. It's, uh, it's carbonated toilet water. Brown for, water. Yeah, yeah, it's carbonated brown water for what it's worth. There's zero, like they, they don't even fake sweeten it. They're just no. like, there's like, Psht, fuck your I, soda, bro. I really have to commend them though because <clears throat> they weren't like no sugar except we're gonna add like way worse shit and make it even sweeter. So you're like, oh, it's no sugar, but it's even better. Yeah. But it's way worse for you, type yes. shit. Yeah, yeah. This is like no, it's no sugar, bro. It's no so sugar, homie. So get, not, you get used to it. Yeah, yeah. it's not going to taste the same. And I think, I think that might actually change. Mm-hmm. So what I do is I, I, I add. Uh, you drink lemon. a lot of water, though. I dry drink a shit ton of water. Yeah. But it's like me, man. And I learned my lesson because I wasn't drinking a lot of water and yeah. doing in doing this diet and an exercise thing. Yeah. I wasn't drinking a lot of water at the beginning of it. Yep. And uh, the wife and I went hard on finishing up our big chicken coop, our massive chicken coop that we built. Yeah. Uh to move the chickens in because Dehydration. because our 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 babies mm. uh our babies were getting way too big yeah. to be sitting in the brooder. So we had to move them into there. Yeah. So I had to work my ass off. My wife worked her ass off. We were fucking killing it. <clears throat> when that weekend that we did that, uh I I was getting what is called uh the keto flu. Uh, yes. Where, uh, I was yeah. like, I was dizzy. Yep. Every time I bent over, I thought mm-hmm. I was going to pass out. Right. Like, because I wasn't drinking enough water. Yeah. I wasn't hydrating. I didn't have enough electrolytes in me. Yep. Apparently, yep. apparently like salt. When you go, in when you water. go keto. Yeah. Like they're like, yep. 
Like I, it's I kind of stayed. Man. I stayed within my salt, Headache. my normal salt content. Like yeah. I stayed within that. Yeah. But apparently, with keto, like you got to up that shit. Yes. And I was like, but it's too salty. Yeah, right. And they were like, no, it's not. Just trust me. Yeah. So I like I electrolytes. I salted. Yeah. Uh, I salted my shit up. Yes. I'm better now. Mm-hmm. Uh, the keto flu is a weird thing. Like, it is a, a thing, really though. Weird, it is a re- it is a thing, yeah. and it's a weird thing. Like, Me and my I was wife like, did it for a long time, man. You get that headache. I fucking get it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 Dizzy, headache, feel like shit. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, you feel like you have the flu. Yes. But it's because your body is doing what it's supposed to do, Yeah. and you're not giving it what it needs. Yeah. That's, that's the whole basis of it. Yeah. Uh, and then you get yourself out there in the sun working. Yeah, yeah, uh, that made it worse. Yeah. Uh, you start shit stuff and fucking yeah. bread in your mouth and stuff like that. You're not doing anything good for yourself. No, like if I can, if I can give anybody any suggestions, low carb all day, every yeah. day. You shouldn't be consuming these carbs and sugars. Carbs and sugars. Uh, eat all the fat you want. Eat all the fat you want. Drink all the bourbon you want. Because mm-hmm. guess what? Bourbon is not. Uh, gluten it's, it's great on not keto carb yes nope no not sugar great on keto really yeah why i say this because i i i downloaded a tracker for myself so that i keep an eye you know keep an idea of where i was at with it yeah because of my exercise like adding the exercise into keto mm-hmm. is a dangerous fucking thing because mm-hmm. you may not be getting enough of the right thing they may not be allowing you to eat enough of the the correct things. Yeah. So you have to balance both, right? Okay. Exercise. Like if you go straight keto and you don't exercise, dude, do it. Yeah. Go straight keto. Do your thing. Yeah. I would suggest, I would suggest like slight intermittent, intermittent fasting, like 15 hours tops. Yeah. Outside of that, if you're exercising and doing keto, mm-hmm. you have to up your protein. Yeah, you have to. You have to also up your electrolytes. Mm-hmm. You have to ups, uh, 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 up your, fat your, your your fat content and yeah. and your 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 sodium content. Yep. The carbs do nothing for you other than slow you down. Yes. It's concrete. It, it, it's literal concrete mix in carbs in otherwise give you energy. in otherwise energized fucking diet. Carbs give you energy, yeah. but in a burst, in not such a great way. So like you consume carbs, yeah, it, it's and they'll, a, oh, it's filling, yeah, yeah, like yeah, it's a solid filler, and it'll give your it body does, a yeah. boost of energy because of the sugars, and then crash, yes, right, because of the sugars in it, yeah. Yep. But see, some Guess, people do okay on zero carb. Some people, yeah, zero carbs. Zero there's sugar, nothing to it. Nothing. Zero. Yeah. They were like zero. I I typed I typed bourbon into my shit, and they were yeah. like, "Have what you want of it." Yeah. 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 They were. They even sent me an article. They were like. Alcohol on keto, and they were like, "Be careful of these things. Yeah, watch these things. But this, these certain things, mm-hmm. fucking have it. Yep. If you want to, they, they they said in moderation, uh, and that, that's that's every every alcohol that you drink. Like, that's yep, a hundred percent in moderation. You should always do that. Yeah. With that being said, I don't think we should carry this along any further because we're at that limit. Huh? Ooh, we are fucking pushing that limit, sir. Ooh. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a blast. We'll see you next time. Have a good night.